Hi, my name is Tony. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up dynamic streaming profiles using Synology's Surveillance Station. If this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. That being said, let's hop over to the computer and get started with today's video. So what are dynamic stream profiles and how are they used within Synology's surveillance station? Well, let's look at the screen. I have a setup here for 16 channels, a 16 camera system. Now I only have two channels active. So just use your imagination and imagine that there were 16 cameras here. Now you might have a 24 camera setup or a 50 camera setup, whatever the case may be. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use a 16 channel setup. Again, use your imagination. You see 16 channels, right? You see 16 cameras. Imagine even at 1080p, that would be a considerable amount of bandwidth. So what Synology surveillance station allows you to do is view the thumbnails of each channel at a low resolution. But as soon as you bring it to full screen, Synology surveillance station will dynamically adjust and upscale it to a higher resolution. When you go back to your thumbnail view, we're looking at the thumbnails again, back in a lower resolution. The same dynamic concepts can be applied to recordings as well. For example, you can set all of your cameras to record continuously at a low resolution, let's say 680 by 480. However, as soon as motion is detected, you could have the cameras begin recording the motion event at a higher resolution and continue recording the motion event at the high resolution until the event has completed. Once the motion event is over, then the cameras will go back to recording continuously at the lower resolution, hence saving bandwidth and providing better management of disk storage as well. Let's take a look and see how this is done. For this part of the tutorial and video, we're working in the IP camera module of Surveillance Station. We're looking at the two cameras, the bullet cam and the mobile live cam. We're going to work on the bullet cam specifically for this part of the video. Now we need to edit the device settings. Now we can go up to edit here or we can right click on the camera and click edit from the menu, which is what we're going to do. Once the device settings come up on the screen, let's click on the video tab. Here, we're looking at the current stream profile and the stream settings. What we're going to do is create a second stream for this camera. Now you can see here right now, all of the profiles are set to one stream. So whether you have high quality selected, balance selected or low bandwidth selected, they're all going to have these parameters here. So let's select a different stream. Let's go to stream two for balanced and stream two for bandwidth. Now, just to note, the supported number of concurrent streams depend on the camera's capability. So now we're gonna have stream one, high quality, and stream two, we're gonna to set to a different quality. So let's scroll down now. And you can see here stream one, the high quality will be at 2304 by 1296. However, you can change that resolution as well, but we're just going to leave it be. And these numbers here, these available resolutions are based on what's supported by the individual camera. So we'll leave stream one set the way it was, and we'll leave that set to the high quality profile. And now for stream two, we'll have a lower resolution, 640 by 480 with a lower frame rate. These settings will apply to stream two, which would be set to the balance profile and the low bandwidth profile. Let's go ahead and click save. Now that we have multiple stream profiles configured for this particular camera, it's time to apply them to the recording settings and the live view settings so that surveillance station can dynamically adjust as we had said previously in this video. Let's start with the recording settings. Let's come over to the left window pane and click on recording settings. Now remember, again, the whole purpose of applying different profiles to the recordings is to conserve bandwidth and better manage the disk storage. So we want during continuous recording to record with one profile at a lower bandwidth. When motion is detected, we want surveillance station to automatically upscale to the other profile with the higher bandwidth rate. And then when the motion event is completed, 
we want surveillance station to automatically or dynamically adjust back to the other profile with the lower bandwidth rate. Let's come over to stream. And you can see the continuous recording screen is set to balanced, which is our lower bandwidth profile. That was stream profile number two. Let's come on down and under advanced continuous recording settings, let's enable event detection. And from the all detections drop down, we want to select motion detection. Now, you might have a camera that has other options like audio detection or tampering detection. This particular camera only has the option of motion detection here, so we're just going to leave it set to that. And once it detects motion, we want the switch profile to dynamically adjust to high quality, which was stream profile number one. Let's go ahead and click on save. So now that our settings are saved, continuous recording will record at stream profile number two, which is balanced and events will record at stream profile number one, which is high quality. Time to apply the stream profiles now to the live view settings. Let's come back over to the left window pane and click on live view settings. And all we have to do here is simply come under dynamic stream settings and enable automatically adjust stream profile accordingly to the display size and go ahead and click on save. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thanks guys for using those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.